In this tutorial, I want to talk about three ways to remove people and or objects from your photos. When we're in public places, it's inevitable that every once in a while we're going to have someone or something in our shots. But thanks to Photoshop, we can remove them really quickly. So let's move over to Photoshop. And this image, which was taken in the Algarve region last week in Portugal, beautiful sunset. But if we look around, oh, there is a couple in our shot and perhaps you want to leave them in there and you can, that's fine. But for this example, they've got to go. So there are three ways I'm going to show you how to remove them. I'm going to actually create a duplicate layer real quick so I can delete it. Um, the first method that we're going to look at is the clone stamp tool. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to do that with control plus on a PC or command plus on a Mac. really get in there and the clone stamp tool what this is going to do is it's going to let us copy pixels from one part of the image and let us paint it into a completely different part of the image so with that selected on a pc you would hold down alt to copy some pixels um, it would be option on a mac so i'm just going to select near them, you always want to make a selection near the subject that you're trying to remove. So uh, let's do something around the horizon. I'm going to hold down Alt, Option on the Mac, click once, and then I'm going to try to line up the horizon. You can see that it has um, the selection visible. So we want to make sure that that's lined up as best as we can. That looks about good. And then you just click once and then you can paint in. Up here, you can set the opacity. So I have it set at 100%, which means 100% going to paint in the pixels. And then I can just paint in. You can use the bracket keys to um, change the size of the brush. I'll fix a little mistake there in a second. And just like that, they're gone. So that's one way of doing it. I'm going to delete that whole layer. Now we're back to where we started. Our second method is going to be content aware. And you can do this a few ways. You can use the lasso tool. You can use the rectangular marquee tool. You can even use the spot healing brush. For this example, I think I'm just going to use the lasso tool and they all kind of work in the same sort of way. So I'm just going to draw around this couple, make a rough selection. It doesn't have to be perfect just enough. And once we've made our selection, we can right click, go to fill. This is content aware for the contents, normal blending mode, opacity 100, click OK. And if we click Control D or Command D, we've removed that selection, the active selection, and they are gone again. What this has essentially done is when you make a selection of something, it's going to use an algorithm. It's going to look at all the pixels that are surrounding the selection and it's intelligently going to make a decision on how that space should be filled. And usually, as you can see, it does a fantastic job. So the third and final method is going to be using a duplicate layer or an additional image. So in this example, if I deselect the top layer, you can see that I took another image maybe 20, 30 seconds later and the couple slightly moved out of the frame. Now this is great because everything pretty much remained the same from the first image, the luminosity, the color, so it'll work pretty seamlessly. Um, now what I can do is I can reselect that and if I get, um, let's say, create a layer mask, a white layer mask, obviously everything's gonna be revealed from this layer and I get a black brush 100% opacity and just paint over this couple. The lovely couple, I should add. Just like that, they're gone. Now, the reason this is working is because for masks, white reveals black conceals. So we have this white layer mask, which is revealing this layer. And with the black brush, I'm painting in the layer below. And if you see in the layer below, the couple is not actually in this portion of the image. They moved down. So we've painted in that portion. Therefore, they're gone. Now, let's just say that you do not have um, another shot. You only have this one image and that's fine, too. There's a way of doing that. 
So if we hit Control J or Command J, we're gonna make a duplicate, a copy of this layer. So if I toggle that on and off, same layer. And what we'll do is on say the bottom layer here, if I get the move tool and let's just say I shift this image, oops, I'm just gonna shift it out of the way, make sure that everything remains the same. I'm gonna get back up to our top layer. Just gonna toggle it on, see if everything, the horizon is fine, it is. Great, so what we can do here is we can create a mask again, a white mask, black brush, 100% opacity, and start painting in again. Now I didn't move it over enough. So what I'll have to do is go back to our bottom layer, the move tool, and I'm just gonna slightly shift it down. Go back to our top layer, black brush, and continue painting. Again, I'm not doing this perfectly here. Just enough to show you how it's done. And you can really fine tune this, but you get the idea. So anyway, you know, you might have to make a few minor adjustments. You might have to shift that layer below a bit, um, but it's the same effect. And if we zoom out, you can see the couple is gone. That was three ways to remove objects and people from your images. Um, obviously these were pretty straightforward and easy examples. Uh, every once in a while, you're gonna have a trickier one or a more complex one, um, which will take more time, but it's the same concepts and methods and they really work great. So if you found this useful, make sure to subscribe and tune in for future tutorials.